Hey, what's up, everybody? How's it going? It's me, Todd, and Crystal. Crystal. Hello. And we are live <laughs> doing our Tuesday late morning, early afternoon auction on Tuesday. So we're going to let some people pop in, see what's going on. I'm going to refresh my deal here. How you been, Crystal? Good, good. Um, Saturday was well. Friday was my husband's birthday, so we went out to the lake on Saturday. We went fishing. Mm -hmm. Um, had a good time out there, but then came home to a popped water heater. Oh. Yeah. So we had to have someone come out yesterday to replace the water heater for us, and that was a nice big fat bill. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I know. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. So we're going to have a good auction today so I can help pay for that bill. <laughs> right. Well, you know, the nice thing is that now your hot water heater, you're set for a long time. Yeah. You probably don't have like to worry about it. Seven to 10 yeah. years. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. So it looks like we got two people here. I had to restart my computer. I don't know what's going on with it. I believe I saw a reseller man in there saying hi, guys and gals. So hello. Yes. I see Reseller Man, and I see Crystal's Clothing Collectibles. Ah, it's my sister. What's up, Crystal? Hi, sister. And I'm going to pour some coffee real quick while everybody's getting situated. So Alrighty. if you haven't poured your coffee yet, feel free to go ahead and do that. Um, let us know how we sound, how we look, uh, and go from there. You know what? My camera looks really cloudy, huh? And it's no, your camera looks back. fine. Really? I forgot to close yeah. it before Oh, I, I think started. I need to close that window behind me, though, because it's making a lot of noise. Right. Hey, get it. Everybody up. get adjusted, adjust themselves, and uh, we'll be right back. Just hang tight. Okay, this should be better. It's still really bright. That's as dark as I can get it right now. Hey, Christy, how are you? Not cleaning up the camera. That's better. Turned off the light behind me. That did make a difference. Yeah. All right, good. And that uh, way well, you guys can see the everything more clearly. All right. Sweet. Yeah, it's hot and windy outside, so I had to close my oh, window. Yeah. What's the temp going to be there today? Uh, I think the high is 88. Yesterday it was 92. Holy buckets. I know. So I think it's going to be like 88 today. Oh. I don't know why my camera is so zoomed in. I don't know how to zoom it out. <laughs> All right. Well, within the next month or so, I have something exciting that's going to be arriving. I'm finally upgrading my phone. I remember oh. when, I, when I got this phone, it was a huge upgrade. Uh, but the microphone is kind of lackluster, and it's taken a lot of drops. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but now it's, it's time. My wife finally decided. She's like, you know what? If you want to take YouTube seriously, and if you want your pictures to be clearer on your eBay and save time, then sometimes you got to spend some money. I was like, okay, if that's what you think we should do. So I'm going to invest in a phone, and it's sweet. Uh -oh. Yeah, you just have to look at it as an investment you know for your business. Hold on real quick, guys. Yeah, I'll quick check. The doggies are back. 31. And it snowed yesterday. Man, I wish it was so cool here. I hate the heat. It's too hot. You know, the 90s, I can deal with it. But once it starts getting up into the hundreds and over 100s, ugh. nope, 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 nope. But we didn't really have much of a winter at all this year over here. I mean, I think we got down into maybe the 50s, but that's the lowest we got, which is unusual for us because we've had a couple of years where it snowed here. Um, we've been into single digits before, but. Okay. Violet, see, she doesn't know the difference between a bad guy or the FedEx guy. It's all just people to her. <laughs> yeah. 
So she was barking like, Dad, get up here. So that's why I went running. And <laughs> it was a FedEx though. guy dropping off my ink. So that's cool. That's good, though. <sighs> okay. Hey, is that David? David. Dad's been up, to buddy? <laughs> It is time for a new coffee pot sponsorship. Got a new coffee pot. <laughs> <laughs> I need a coffee pot like that. Isn't that sweet? How long does it keep your coffee hot? If you pour it in there right away, mm -hmm. uh, probably to about noon. Well, no, I just poured this in here. So it'll be hot for the next two hours. And then okay. it'll start to cool down. But mm -hmm. I don't like my coffee steaming hot anyway. I like yeah, neither do I. Yeah, so um, I, I bought this to sell it. And then when I was cleaning it, I broke it. And so I don't want to sell something broken. Mm -hmm. Plus, I figured that was just... I just wanted to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> that was just the excuse to keep it. Yeah. Super cool. I do that too. Like I buy most of the clothing um, that I get like from Goodwill or the bins. I try to buy everything in my size. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I try it all on when I get home after I wash it. And I'm like, oh, this fits nice. <laughs> So we have Christy here. We have David, our old friend in here. We've got my sister here. I know my wife is in the chat. Uh, I'm just trying to count how many people are here and how many people are watching. Like you're watching on a monitor. I'm watching on a monitor. So there's two. My sister's three, my mom. So. Your streamer doesn't tell us how many people are watching, does it? Mm -mm. You have to pull it up on. Let me see if I pull it up on YouTube. <gasps> oh my gosh. Here, get, get to me first. So this thing that I was telling you guys about, uh, I got to do a video on it, but it just showed up. That's what it was, the FedEx guy. Is that a phone? That's my phone. Oh. Yeah, let me just show you real quick. Have you guys heard of the Sam's, was it Samsung? Samsung S21 Ultra 5G? No. S? <laughs> it's like the baddest oh the top of the baby. line Ooh, baby wow why does it have so many cameras yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm so excited i just Thank can't you. hide it i'm about to lose control i think i like it <laughs> all right well I'll, it's here so there it is i'm gonna put it away so i could do a a video on it because that is video worthy Oh my gosh. Fancy, it was supposed fancy. to be back ordered till next month. That oh. Sick. Oh, my video you got got it. improve. Woohoo. Okay. What are they all for? Uh, it has like a hundred times zoom, and I'll make a video on it for sure, for sure. You guys will see. No, that's awesome. You know, sometimes you just have to invest in your business. Sometimes, you know, money makes money. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of what I figured out. Sometimes you have to pay up to get a good return and a faster yeah, return. That's you know, true. A lot of times I'll pay pennies for something, but I'm sitting on it for two and a half years. Whereas if I spend some money on something, it sells like in a month. I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. well, that, that makes sense. But, you know, it's hard to do that sometimes. Yeah, it is. I know. I had to wait for a long time before I could upgrade my computer, yeah, but I finally did it was it last month and I'm so happy now. It's just my old computer was running so slow. I was wasting so much time just waiting. Yeah, so yeah. now I'm happy because I can just go so much faster. Yeah. You know, I've always been the kind of guy that has been able to do the best you can with what you have. And if it breaks, fix it and that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, I think sometimes you have to take it to the next level and say, okay, I work hard. I try and justify these things. I'm like, I don't need, 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 need. But this phone's three years old. It, it dies after an hour. doesn't hold a charge. The camera battery sucks. So, yeah. Yeah. No. All right. Well, we got nine people here. Who's ready to buy some stuff? Or at least look at some cool stuff. You know, you might buy it. You might not. But either way, you get to see some cool stuff. And I, bought out, I brought out some cool stuff this time, guys. What are you selling you today? Like Pardon me? What are you oh, selling, selling today? I'm selling some baseball cards. 
Okay. Yeah, but there's something special about these baseball cards. I'm selling some games. Um, selling some stuff from the 80s. You know, fun stuff. Cool. But as always, ladies first. And so uh, whenever you. Okay. A red eye. What do I want to start with? Um, I'll get you switched over while you figure it out. And thanks okay. everybody for being here. Oh, now it's wider. Now you can see the disaster on the sides. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start with a fishing kit. This is a hurricane accessory tool kit. Uh, it is brand new. I did cut the seal because I wanted to see what was inside. Because um, I had originally bought it for myself, but I ended up not using it. So this is going to be a starting bid of $10. <laughs> there we go <laughs> so it's going to be a starting bid of ten dollars so it's a hurricane accessory toolkit and since i did cut the seal i can show you everything that's inside of here hopefully it doesn't spill out so you get this nifty plastic case and inside is all this fun stuff fish scale a knife sharpener, a fillet knife. Um, what else is in here? Pliers. Uh, looks like a sheath for the knife. Um, let's see what else. 28 pound scale with measuring tape, a fish scaler, stringer, your license holder, uh, the utility box. So yeah, all that fun stuff. Right there, starting bid, 10 bucks. It's all brand new, brand new, never been used. There's a few more pieces underneath this here. All oh, that stuff under there. It looks like the, I think this is a scaler. And then like a holder for your license. Cool. Cool. Yeah, it's really cool. And you got this nifty box that you can use for all your tackle and stuff, too. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's the brand right there, Hurricane Accessory Toolkit. And it lists all the stuff that's included in it. Brand new. $10 plus the shipping. So what we're going to do is um, if you win then you'll go ahead and shoot me an email with your information, uh, your name, your YouTube name, your PayPal info, and um, I will invoice you. I ship, I don't make any money on shipping, so I choose the cheapest shipping that I can find or the cheapest rate that I can find, and that's what I will um, invoice you for for the shipping. And I'll combine everything. So if you win multiple items, I'll combine it all together for you at the end. Okay, so it's a pass for reseller man. Anyone else interested? If not, we'll just skip it for today. Yeah, and if yeah, it is a pass for you guys good. on either on anybody's items, just let us know. Yeah. That way we can keep on trucking. Yep, no problem. It, just, it makes but it go faster, so we're not waiting, you know. Right, yeah, but Father's Day is coming up. So, you know, yeah. if you have an uncle or a cousin, brother, or somebody you haven't talked to in a long time that you know might be into fish and say, you know what? For 10 bucks plus shipping, I can give this to somebody and they'll be like, happy. Okay, we have two passes, so we'll pass that one. Okay. Thank you, guys. All right, let's flip these cameras back around here. Back to do, 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 do. All right. So what I've got is the eBay game. Has anyone ever seen the eBay game? 
Well, I hadn't either, but then I started selling on eBay and I saw this game out there. A buddy of mine had one of these and I was like, oh, that's so cool. And then I found this in the wild about two years ago. And if you go back and watch any of my videos, you'll always see this displayed in the background. So this has been part of my background for a while. Um, but I thought, you know what? It's time to bring some really cool stuff to this auction and let some stuff go. And so I'm going to let my eBay game go. I've never played it, ever. Um, I just displayed it. Whoa. But here it is. Dump it all out. Comes with the cards and it's electronic. Uh, yeah. I just thought it was a cool thing to have, you know. It is cool. But like Especially I said, sometimes. Yeah, if you're an eBay seller, um, yeah, you got to have one of these for a little while, anyways. But I just never got around to playing it, which is so strange. But that's just like anything you collect, I guess. Uh, let's turn it on here. Uh, I should probably throw some batteries in it so you guys can see that it works. And just so happens that I've got a vintage tab screwed everything. This will be up for auction at some point here today. But it's a screwdriver set and an old, looks like it, but it says tab tools. So it's made for this. But bust out some batteries. It's too big. That would be fun to play. Yeah, it would be fun to play, Ma. Um, I just never, never did. Isn't that a bummer? Oh, I guess we should start a price on this thing. Uh, let's go ahead and start this thing out at uh, 10 bucks plus shipping. 10 bucks plus shipping. We'll start there and yeah, super cool. Thank you. Thank you. All right, grab some batteries real quick, guys. All right. Crack open some batteries here real quick. Is anybody in on this thing for ten bucks? I guess let's hear how it sounds first, huh? Then we'll go from there. You got the whole family today. I know, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. There you go. How many players? Three. Use the red, blue, and yellow cards. New items are up for bid. Yellow. Blue. Red. All items are still up for bid. Red. Yellow. Blue. Okay, well, it does come with directions. Comes with directions, comes with the cards, comes with the original box. Does not come with batteries, but it comes with everything else you need to play it if you wanted to play it. Like I said, to me, it was just more of a display piece more than anything, which I'm sure it would be for a lot of people. Let's see who's here. Gary Strange. What's up, Gary Sather? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Uh, here's the instructions. I think this is from the 1990s. What? Okay, 2001. But it does have the instructions, so you can't figure out how to play it. I just never took the time. We're going to let this thing go. I got 10 seconds left. Crystal, get ready. 10 seconds going. Nine, oh, you're welcome, Gary. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All righty, it's going to go back back behind me. You guys will see it in the backdrop, which is cool. I just wanted to offer that up to you guys. All right, Crystal, are you ready, ma'am? Sure. 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 Uh, sure, sure. Should I get it? I got it. Okay, I have two mannequin heads for sale. These would be great if you sell hats, um, maybe jewelry, 
I don't know, wigs. So, oh, they're bright with the light. But uh, so here's the first one. So you get both of them starting bid $5 plus the shipping. They're styrofoam, so they're super light. Uh, let me see if I, maybe if I turn off the light, you can see it a little bit better. There we go. So this is the first one. It's a short mannequin. And the second one is a tall mannequin. So it's long. Let's see if I measure it, how tall it is. That's creepy, huh? <laughs> um, so this one is 20 inches tall. Nice big tall one. You could even put them next to each other like that. Maybe if you have a store or for display. So $5 starting bid for both. Put a hat on it. I got a hat right here. Hat. I'm over here talking with my microphone off. It's so much easier to uh, take pictures of hats, like you say, you know, with that, you just click, turn, click, turn, click, turn, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, exactly. It's easy to take pictures of hats like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have quite a few of them actually because I use them for like cosplay wigs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, you should keep one in the car for the carpool lane. If you oh, that'd be cool. Those. That would be funny, huh? Or just put them on some kind of a pulley and string system in your car that you just pull the string and four heads pop up, one in each be back like, and one in front. <laughs> <laughs> Peek out the window. <laughs> that'd be awesome. Hello. <laughs> hey, what's up, Eli? Elijah? Thanks for being here. Boo. <laughs> he needs ones for hats. Five bucks, buddy, for both. Starting bid. Or maybe Bam. for Halloween or something. Put some yeah. makeup and a wig on it. I don't know. Those are Bury it good. under the ground. <laughs> you could also uh, model headphones. Oh, yeah. Headphones. Earmuffs. Uh, visors. Earmuffs. Uh, sunglasses. Yeah. Uh, All kinds of whatever. things. I didn't think masks. Of. Masks. Yes, I did put masks on these before. Yeah. When I was selling masks. Yeah. You're masks not selling masks. Have Eli in at five. Right. This one does have a brand on it. I don't know if that makes a difference to anyone, but uh, the brand is right there. What does it say? Lay Decor. L E D E K O R, lay decor. Hmm. And that long neck would give me nightmares. Yeah, it's really long. <laughs> nice, nice neck, nice neck, long neck. And it has a hole there in the bottom, so you could put it on your um, mannequin stand if you wanted to. You just spin it, man. Put it on a lazy Susan, huh? That's what I need—a lazy Susan for taking what does pictures. It say? Gary says, paint them blue and yourself blue as well and go as blue <laughs> for Halloween. There you go. Yes, you could. That'd be funny, huh? Like, put one here on this shoulder and the one on this shoulder. <laughs> but I like it. I like Blue Man Group. I think I've seen them now maybe four times. Hmm. Blue Man's fun. Never been. Yeah, I went a couple times, and then then they had like an autism, um, like a sensory show. So I took my son to that one. We had so much fun. Cool. All right, we're gonna go ahead and sell it. I'm gonna give you guys nightmares now. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> oh, he got blue sweat on him. <laughs> Blue sweat. Gross. Maybe you mean from like the paint splatter? They do a lot of paint splatter stuff. Yeah, it must have some really good seats. Pretty much any seat in that little auditorium is a good seat. There's no bad seats. All right, uh, Eli, we'll go ahead and sell it to you for five. Thank you so much. 
you'll send me your info if I don't have it already. This is going to be sweet. Do, 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 do. All right, your turn. All right. So low. Bah, 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 bah. All right. So what we have here is a Tops baseball bubblegum card dealie here. Uh, has Gary Carter on the side, Dave Rachetti on the top. Wade Boggs on the side. Uh, there's 36 of them in here. Ron K here and Cecil Cooper. And here says that it's got some special ones in there. It's from 1987. But what is make? Why is this special? Because the tape that's on here is from 1987. These suckers are sealed, baby. Sealed. So there you go. We're going to start these out at 30 bucks and letter buck. 30 bucks plus shipping. It's heavy. That's about, well, let me grab a scale. But I'm going to say that's about uh, uh, four pounds. Let me grab a scale real quick. Hey, ew, Eli, that's kind of gross. <laughs> three pounds, three ounces. Three pounds, three ounces. All right. So there you go. If you guys are into that. And so I can show you what's in them because I have one sitting right next to it that is not taped. I what's had like, then? I had a bunch of these at one time, um, but this one was not taped. And so I can show you what's in there is it has, it's the display. Basically, you could put this up like that, whatever, for each one is sealed. And you could have won a trip to spring training in 1988. So, yeah. Um, so I've got another one sitting over there that I went through, and I, I opened up a whole bunch of cards, man. I was having so much fun. Um, <laughs> but I found multiple Barry Bonds, um, a whole bunch of different cards that, that I thought were pretty sweet. What's your starting bid on the box? Uh, 30 bucks. 30 bucks starting. Got 14 people here. Nineteen eighty seven. Yeah. Sealed. Super cool. Time to look that up, take a screenshot. So we were supposed to go to a doctor's appointment this morning, and my wife's been fighting a cold for the last couple days. So last night she decided that she wasn't going to go because she's been sniffling and snuffling and going. She said, you know what? We should buy stock in Kleenex because <laughs> she's been using so much Kleenex. <laughs> um so, yeah, we didn't have to go to the appointment this morning. She ended up rescheduling it sometime early May. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that was good and bad. I guess not really bad. Sometimes you just don't want to go. Yeah. Yeah, she usually keeps all of her appointments. It's just, you know, she's all the uh, All right, I'm going to give this thing one more minute. Because like I said, I always believe that if somebody sees it, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, I need that. And then you guys can always come back and shoot me a message and say, hey, Todd, uh, you know, that those things that you were showing us, I want one. I want it. Otherwise, you'll see this one up on uh, eBay. Pretty, pretty, pretty quick. Yep, you can always message us after the auction if something didn't sell if you want it you can still have, have it yeah i've had people do that for sure 
All right, we're going to go ahead and end it. Okay. There it was. Some awesome cards. Are you ready, Crystal? I'm ready. Okay, I'm going to sell my school books. So these are some medical textbooks, plus some other little ones that I read. Um, starting bid, there's five books here. Starting bid is five dollars. And I can ship everything. Media mail. Oh, let me put my other light back on. Sorry. There we go. That's better. Okay, so the first one is the electronic health record. This one for the physician's office. Um, this is a book that I used um, for medical billing. So I have highlighted some stuff in it. Um, but there's that one. It's in good condition, otherwise I just highlighted it in it. Um, this one is the standard CPT, current procedural terminology for 2014. This is a big textbook. There we go. This one is the ICD-10, also 2014. This is also a Big one here. And then two little books I've got is Diagnosis Criteria DSM IV. This one. ISB right there. And this one, Doctor's Book of Home Remedies. Is this one here. This one's actually a pretty cool book. It's hard to see the glare. Okay, so all five of those starting bid $5. I'll try to get me get these two. You get this one. Get this one. And this one. This one, let's see what the date is on here. I think this one might be 2020. But let's see. Does it have a date? CPT. No, uh, known as the city of Compton. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> sorry. Uh, oh, this sorry. one says 2015. Okay. So 2015. That one. What's up, Lisa? Lisa. That one. American Medical Association. And there's this one. This one has all the diagnosis codes in it. If you want to learn how to read your ins uh, your medical insurance bills, here you go. <laughs> nice. Yeah, um, that'd be good. These two. Okay, no one's interested, that's all right. Wait another minute. The all right, remedies. reseller man put pass. Thank you. The home remedies I think would be a really good one. Uh, because like, Yeah, that's a pretty I cool book. Use it, use it. Some of mm -hmm. hard, the other stuff might be hard to use, but that would definitely be able to use. Like put duct tape on your finger if you have a like, I remember I had like, I don't know if it was a wart or a, so I think there's a wart or something on my finger when I was younger, and I put some duct tape on it for like a week and went away. Duct yeah. tape? Duct tape, yeah. Let's see. It says something in here like uh, rubbing aspirin on a mosquito bite reduces inflammation. Let's see. Let's see if it says anything about warts and duct tape. 
It's just um, okay. Many. Let's see. How would I look it up? Uh, warts. Index W. No, I know that. <laughs> oh, uh, let's see. 687. Now I'm curious. This is 687. Hold on. Short commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> While we look up warts. <laughs> Um, how to avoid a wart. Um, let's see, vitamin E oil, garlic, lemon, chalk. Duct tape. I don't see duct tape. <laughs> it says banana skin. Huh. I heard you could smoke banana skins if you dried them when I was a kid. I, I never tried it, but... Smoke them? Yeah, you know. People nowadays, <laughs> that's are crazy, man. That's it. It doesn't say anything about duct tape. Okay, well, <laughs> trust me. It works. If you, get, if you guys have something like that, do that. Lisa says she's heard of it, too. Okay, that's interesting. Read yeah, the whole thing out loud for you. Okay, that's another um, another day. We'll do that, okay? <laughs> All right, Not well, let's see here. What do we have? Dun, 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 dun. A real pass. Did I get it? Did I get it? I got it. All right. So this isn't part of it yet. I'm still debating on that thing. But what is up is a whole bunch of Coca-Cola tins. Um, there's a whole setup of them. So got this one. Actually, there's two of these. It has an old-timey looking thing with the fountain drinks and the Victorian ladies. Pretty sweet. And this has the original dust on them. I'll leave that there for you. I won't even charge you extra or nothing. That one's the exact same. Here is a little tiny baby one with the hole in the top, which is kind of weird. Not quite sure what that hole's for. Uh, oh, looks like at some point it was a pencil sharpener. Coke tin oh. sharpener with two ounces of Tootsie Rolls. What? Where? I, must, I didn't eat them. <laughs> but it's a tin. And I guess you could put a pencil sharpener on the end of that, uh, which makes sense. Here is a large... Coke can. So there you go. And then a little tiny one. What does this say? Doesn't have a date on it. Coca Cola, candy coated, roasted peanuts. So there's peanuts in here at some point. I suppose all, all these tins have something in them at some time. So we're going to start this out at five bucks plus shipping. If you guys like Coca Cola or if you make uh, goodies, are you making goodies? Did you make goodies? And give them to people still. Some people do. Some people don't. But you could uh, make some goodies. Or you could put your whatever you need to stash your way in here. Call it a stash can. You know, put your cash in here. Your savings. A little bit of your garage sale money. Your thrift store money. Your you know, dried bananas. This could be yeah, your dried banana money. <laughs> <laughs> Saving up for bananas. <laughs> yeah. All that kind of stuff. I don't judge, man. It's all up to you. Five bucks. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Isn't dry bananas banana chips? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's banana pills even. I, I'm, oh, I'm getting all this information like, from like... I was just I, eating banana chips the other day. <laughs> this information comes from like a, a sixth grade brain of mine. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> that I, you know, back in the day, I remember. Yeah, that, or maybe it was rose bushes. I don't know. It was something. What? <laughs> <laughs> My mom sitting at the other end of the computer, just laughing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Coca Cola cans, either in on it or you're not. You know, it's one of those things, man. She's like, oh, I got to have those. They're pretty cool. You know, if that's what you're into. Gonna pass, but if they don't sell, yeah, man, not a problem, Elijah. They'll they'll be around here, hanging out, chilling. 
It's got the old, old price tag on them. So, all right. We're going to give this a few more seconds. Talk amongst themselves or think or something. I did go to an estate sale uh, since last time I talked to you. Oh, you did? I did. Uh, and I picked up this, another Lee Crusette. I think that's how you say it. Uh, baking pot, the Dutch oven, three and a half quart. Uh-huh. Um, that was like the gem of the, the sale. I ended up scoring that. But the rest of the stuff, I'm, yeah, 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 I should have tested the stuff because after I got home, I was like, ah. But as you know, when, you, when you're the first person or second or third or fourth at the state sale and there's 250 people behind you uh, all trying to get in the house, yeah. It was, it was but is it like old vintage stuff that you bought? Um, I bought a 1978 hockey game, Mattel hockey game, handheld electronic. 12 mm-hmm. bucks and it, it works but sporadically so i think if you know someone's smart and knows how to take it apart clean it up i'm sure it'll work just perfect but as it stands it's 12 bucks that's more like a seven dollar display piece so that's a money loser for me um there's a couple things that had i tested it so you know the blame is all on me whenever i make a bad buy or bad decision i always just take the blame for it because shame on me i should have not been so wrapped up in the moment but like I said, when I've got people around me and it's just craziness, I just get going. Get yeah, but uh, sometimes, especially with those vintage pieces, people are just looking for the nostalgia. So I would still try and sell them and maybe list them high and just note on there that they're broken or not working or not tested or whatever you want to say. Um, yeah. Because I'll it's show like... Them to you guys. Yeah, I'll show them to you guys. Maybe like even with a lot of the... Bit with a lot of the vintage clothing that I pick up, um, a lot of it is stained or has holes or it needs some type of mending or broken zippers and things like that. And people still buy them. Mm-hmm. I'll just grab these two things. Oh, this is cool too. Um, Hi, Greg, how are you? Yes, they are, Lisa. But these are not for sale. These are my personal albums. I've been listening to this one since I was, oh, about three, four. Uh, Sony Walkman. Picked this up, but I didn't shake it. Um, it works sporadically. Once again, if a guy is electronically inclined, he could probably take this apart and make it work 100%. Right now, it's more of a display piece. Um, it works sporadically. And then this was another thing right here. So this was 12 bucks, and this was 12 bucks. So, yeah, I need to slow down. Yeah, but you and can I'm, still sell that stuff. Don't, oh yeah, don't disregard to. it. List it. Oh, um, yeah. You yeah. know, there are companies out there that purchase those things, like, for television shows. And that's all that it's right. going to be. It's just a display a piece. Or, yep. Just a you problem. know. Yeah, yeah a prop. It, yeah, it does turn on and off. I was trying to play it. But we'll, we'll show you guys that stuff later. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and pass on the tins. So we'll get Miss Crystal back up here. All right, what am I going to... What do I want to try today? <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, blah, blah, blah. I got all this stuff around me. What do you guys want? Plush? How about we do some plush? There you Plushies. go. Plushies. Okay, let me get some plush. All right, so the first one is a little plush lot right here, and we'll start it at five bucks plus the shipping. So the first item is this little bear. He's still brand new in the plastic. He is a tissue cover, like a tissue box cover. There's one in here that's open. Let me show you. Oh, he's similar to this one. So your tissue box goes right in there, and then you can pull the tissues out right here. <laughs> Little teddy bear tissue box cover. So there's two of those. There's this one, sort of like a brown bear or maybe a dog. I'm not sure. This guy. 
There's this guy. He's an electronic. Uh, let's see. If I can turn it on. I don't know if it works. I haven't tried it. It's not working now, so it might need batteries. Oh, this cute little guy here, and he is a baby Einstein. Baby Einstein. There's no date. So just baby Einstein. Um, there is this blue koala from Peekaboo Toys. No date on that one either. Peekaboo Toys. This one. He still has all his tags on it. It says Puppy LED Message Fan. It sings, I can't help myself. Let me see if I can get it to work. Maybe? No, sorry guys, I don't have batteries. But this spins around and lights up. And then the last piece in this lot is an Aflac duck. I love selling these Aflac ducks. I don't know why I found so many of these, but these are really good sellers for some reason. So he's a little snowboarder. It's <laughs> super cute on this little board right here. Um, he has this really cute little hoodie. Take this off and he's got these goggles on and he makes noise too. Aflac, Aflac. <laughs> so there's the Aflac duck. Aflac. 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 Oh yeah, he's super cute. Okay, so you get all of these pieces starting bid five dollars plus the shipping. So there's one, two, three, four. Number five and number six. Yeah, these are cute. Let me see if there's a tag. No tag on this one. I think I have a. So the tissues go right in there. Cute little. You could probably put wipes in there too, like for a nursery or something. Brands. This is tissue cover. That's cute. good for Snappy right now. Yeah. Maybe cute for Easter or birthday present or something too. Or maybe some like a get well present. Guy. This one's probably my favorite. Does it smell like blueberries? The blue one? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I was watching the screen. My bad. I was watching my computer, not the live. Okay. No, the blue. The big blue monster. <laughs> the blue one? No, it doesn't smell like blueberries. Oh, okay. He's just a blue koala. And then this guy. A spinny LED guy. All right, we're passing on the plush. No way, people love plushes. That's okay. Next time. I got lots more. I got a bigger plush lot coming up later. Okay, we'll go ahead and pass on it. Okay. Yes, let's just uh, so low. So low. Ah, 
So, what we have here, I put together a little lot of goodies. First in this lot is going to be, whoa, don't tip over. It's going to be these workbook. It says the work basket from 1960. Um, and they are, well, looks like some advertising, but it's patterns, needlepoint. It's about needlepoint for people who are in on that and how to make doilies and mittens and black and red dresses and how to build a frontier cabin. No, it's they're these old books. Um, it was a subscription. Somebody in Ro Roseau, Minnesota had a subscription to these back in the day. This one's from 1955. What? <laughs> Free Elvis, man. Elvis didn't, didn't pop off till 56. So here, oh, look at there, March 56, bam. <laughs> That's the style, 56. 15 cents for this thing. Ah, oh, just just to have is cool. Yeah. Oh, look at that. But to in the right hands to someone of this era, they could pick up this book and know what all this gibberish means and be able to make this kind of thing. You know, this is a tool That's for just somebody. The stitching. Yeah. The stitching Shows pattern. To, yeah, do this, do that. Anyway, super cool. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these things. And they span from 1956 all the way. Or here's one from 52. 1952, um, 53, 54, 55, another 52. Oh, here's a 49er. What? That's super cool. For pleasure and profit, home and needle craft. Nice. Look at you could weave a, a deal there. Wow. Does anyone else get excited about this stuff like I do? I mean, I'm just like, wow, these are so cool. <laughs> I, I don't know anything about none of it. But, you know, anything that's 60 years old, that's still in good shape and is a whole bunch of. I, I like. think it's cool. I love to look at it for, um, well, because I sell a lot of vintage clothing. So I look at the styles, I look at the yeah. brands, um, you know, the prices and things like that, that they were selling back then. I like it's interesting to me. Yeah. All the ads are just so cool. Mm -hmm. And this could even be flash for a tattoo artist, you know? <laughs> Yeah, it's a way to teach yourself about vintage. Mm -hmm. Justin Jacobs, what is up, buddy? How you doing, man? Gosh, I haven't seen you in such a long time. Okay, so this is the first part of this. Okay, next in this whole lot is some random unicorn. You could do whatever you want with it. I don't know. It's but it's a unicorn, and it's oh. got a hole in the bottom of it. And I actually I had two of these. This is the one that I still have, and the other one I sent to Ellie. Ellie from uh, Ryan and Ellie? Yeah. Rally Roots? Rally Roots. She's, yeah, like four years ago or three years ago, I sent it to her. Because, you know, it's, she's into it. Uh, and a handful of random jewelry. Because everybody likes random jewelry. What is this thing? I don't know what that is. Here's some um, clip-on earrings. People like clip on earrings, some danglers, and oh, I guess this is not anything because it broke. So that's nothing. Some blood drive pins, like I said, it's just a random lot, and a Pisces ring. Pisces. It's like one of those you can bend it to fit kind of thing from the fair, probably. So, there you go. Just some fun stuff and a little bracelet. There you go. We'll start that out at five bucks. There you go. Woohoo! That unicorn on the hood of your car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's worth it for five bucks just for that right there. Put it on my truck. <laughs> yeah, you could put it. I mean, it's got a little screw on, Dilly. Yeah, you put, I'll just put it right on the hood of my truck. <laughs> And there's a hole in the top. 
Oh. That's pretty cool. It's pretty heavy. Uh, not real heavy, but it's plastic. It's solid. It's quality made. Okay, we're going to go 10 seconds on this one. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2, 1. Yes, Justin, everything is plus shipping. Are you ready, Crystal? I'm ready. Okay, surprise. Hello. <laughs> All right, so I have some wooden bowls. Um, I'm starting all of them off at $5 plus shipping for the whole lot. They are black walnut, Ozark black walnut. It says uh, native wood products, Ozark, Missouri. So there is the label or the bag. Is it focusing? Yeah, okay. Ozark Black Walnut. So I have four in this sort of shallow bowl style. Some of them do have a little bit of, this is natural, like a natural defect there in the wood. Um, a little bit of like scratches in the bottom. Little tiny scratches there. Okay, so there's four in this more shallow style, four of those. And then there are four of the bowls that are a little bit deeper. So there are four of these. Each one is unique. So uh, that's what I like about it. Different wood grains and things like that in there. So you get all eight starting at $5 plus the shipping. Not all of them have the little gold tag on it. Some of them have been removed, but there are a few of them still that have the tags on. Like this one, it's kind of faded so you can't read it. This one doesn't have it, but it has a holder in the bottom. This one's solid on the bottom. Okay. See, look at that, that's really neat. Different wood grains. Okay, so all eight for five. Man, what a smoking deal. They're nice. Salad, Salad bowls or whatever you want to do with them. Salad, chips, appetizers. I remember salad bowls being wood. I don't know why. You remember them being wood? Yeah, like when you go to like Pizza Hut or yeah, you know. Mhm. Mm Are those made in Hawaii? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. No, they're made in Ozark, Missouri. Oh, that's right, Missouri. What kind of it wood is this? Ozark Black Walnut Native Wood Products, Ozark, Missouri. Okay. I don't know if it'll focus on that, but those videos are really fun to watch. People turning wood and actually creating that stuff. It's amazing. Yeah. That's cool. A lot of workmanship. Let's see if you can see this one better. Five dollars for eight. Man, what a bargain. If you haven't seen anything you're interested in, put something in the chat that you guys want to see. Maybe I'll have something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. That's one of the things I'd put in my post on Facebook was, mm -hmm. you know, leave in the comments. What What is it that you guys are looking for? Because there's a good chance that we have it. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> but 
unless we know I can't dig it out. Yep, put it in the chat. I also have a ton of clothing over here that um, I'm going to show you guys today. So let me know what sizes you're interested in or if there's a particular, like if you want t-shirts or pants or whatever. I have so, so many clothing. Um, I was actually thinking of doing another auction on Thursday um, mm -hmm. of just clothing because I have so much. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, let me know what sizes you guys want or styles or whatever. And I'm sure I've got it. <laughs> Coins. Oh, I don't have coins. <laughs> Maybe Todd does, though, but I don't. Um, what do I have for coins? The coins I have are not coin coins. They're like shoe tokens or something from like Buster Brown from the 50s or 40s. or They're made out of clay. I don't know. They're crazy. They're old. Action figures. Do I have any action figures? Okay, I'm going to work on some of that stuff for you, reseller man. All right, we're going to go ahead and pass on this. Okay. Was, uh... Graphic t-shirts. Okay. I'm writing all this down. Graphic t-shirts, yeah, okay. Yeah, I was almost going to go through my t-shirts because I've got some cool t-shirts that I think people might like. Um, yeah. Okay, here we go. Guests. I have a few graphic tees, but they're not like vintage. Is, are you wanting vintage or just graphic tees? I don't have, I don't have vintage ones at the moment. Okay. So I, I was going to do this remote control car, but I think we'll I'll save that for later. I think what I'm going to bring up next is some vinyl. And I just pulled these out of my own collection here. Uh, so here we go. Graphic we got tees. Okay. Bobby Vincent's Greatest Hits. Blue Valley. Some Johnny Rivers. A little more Johnny Rivers. Secret AJ Man. We got Men at Work. Cargo. Oh, yeah, baby. And some Sha Na Na. Rock and Roll is here to stay. So that is pretty cool. Sha Na Na has Remember Then, Come Go With Me, Chantilly Lace, Little Darling, Long Tosselli, Book of Love, Rock and Roll is here to stay, Young Love. A Teenager in Love, Little Girl of Mine, Heartbreak Hotel, Teen Angel, Silhouettes, and Lovers Never Say Goodbye. This was put out in 1973. What? Damn, this thing's old. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's true, though. This thing's 48 years old. And, yeah, it's been played, has scratches. Ooh. Yeah, it's going to be going to sound uh, like 48 years old. Let's check out this. I'll be right though. back, Todd. Okay. Let's see if I have any graphic tees. Okay. Uh, cargo is in great condition because it was in really good condition when I first got it. This one has Dr. Heckle and Mr. Jive, Overkill, Settle Down My Boy, Upstairs in My House, No Son of the Yesterday. Uh, it's a Mistake. It's a Mistake. High Wire, Blue For You, I like to and no restrictions. I believe this is a 1983 album. I was in third grade. Let's take a look and see. 1982. So yeah, about right. Super cool. Good condition. Johnny Rivers. This is recorded live somewhere. Uh, dun, dun, dun. So we're going to start these this lot of elms out at, uh, gosh, I'm going to say 10 bucks, 10 bucks plus shipping. It'll go media mail. So that won't be bad, but this is hours and hours of awesome. Johnny rivers, check what's inside. Uh, this one's going to listen to you pretty, pretty heavily. 
pretty heavily. But, you know, the crackle to me is awesome. I love listening to something that's, you know, has scratches and whatever. Because like I said, this Elvis Presley record right here, I've literally been listening to this my whole life. And it is beat up. But I know where every scratch, where, you know. Yeah. So let's see if there's anybody over there. That's in on this. Check that chat. <laughs> you guys think anybody in on vinyl? Ten. Pass for you. Okay, no worries. No, don't be sorry, man. It's okay. Crystal's out digging for some stuff, so that's cool. Well, while she's doing that, since we're going to pass on these, I'm going to move on to the next thing. What's that? I'm back. Unless you have something oh, else. Okay. okay, cool. Yes, and I listened to it before you, so it's really old, <laughs> my sister says. <laughs> Crystal is back. Okay. Well, everybody passed on the albumums. So I'll just put those back in the old collection. And we will go over here to Miss Crystal. All right. Do you have a nickname? Do I have a nickname? Mm -hmm, like Baccarat. Rosie. Oh, yeah, that's right. Rosie, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say Crystal because Crystal and then Baccarat is like the best, right? Rosie's my nickname, or people call me Chris. A lot of people call me Chris. My friend calls me sister. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, Crystal, ma'am, you are up. Monkey. My grandpa called me Monkey. <laughs> I have lots of nicknames. All right, so some graphic tees. I'm not sure if this is what you're looking for, but I have some. Um, this is a Jimi Hendrix in a size extra large. None of these are vintage. Um, well, no, I take that back. I have two vintage ones. I'll show you those too. So this, the brand is True Vintage. Of course, it's not vintage, but size extra large in a Jimi Hendrix. This one is um, three dollars the Jimi Hendrix I've got a junk food blondie this one has um, this stain right here that I couldn't get out right here so this is blondie in a size extra large it has 77 on the back. That one. This one's three dollars. This one says good witch. This one doesn't have a size tag. It's probably an extra large or maybe even a double X. Good X good witch. That one's a dollar. Unless you want all of them, then I'll make you a, a deal on all of them. This is an eBay shirt. This is a size medium. eBay deals. That one's a dollar. Here is my CBD lab. This one's a dollar. It does have that on the back. Um, this one is an extra large. This is a threadless tee in a size small. It has those little mushroom guys there. I think those are from Nintendo. I think Mario. That one's a dollar. These are from my own personal closet. These are $3 each. This one is Sex Pistols. 
I love this shirt. It just doesn't fit me anymore. So this is a size small. That one's three dollars. This one is also a size small, and it's Johnny Cash. So that one's three dollars. This one is corn. It doesn't have a tag on it, but I'm pretty sure it's a small because it doesn't fit me. So this one is a size small, and it is. Let's see if I can, where is it sticking? There we go. That one is corn in a size small. This one's also $3. Then the two vintage ones that I have, where's the size on this? Here we go. This is a size large, extra large. The tag says sun triangle. And it is a tank top. Yeah. It has, let's see if I can put on a hanger. It might be easier to see it. So here is the tank top. Like a racer back style with these cool multicolored scrunchy things here. Razor back. And then it says Sahara, Las Vegas. This one does have a few um, stains on the front. Probably if you bleached it, you could get it out. But I don't know how to do that. So there's a, there's a stain there and there. But I'm guessing this is maybe 80s or 90s, early 90s. Sahara, Las Vegas. There we go. This one's five. And then this one is also $5. This is a size large. And I think this is probably uh, 90s. It is double stitch. It's not single stitch. Um, and it says Gold's Gym. There's that one. New Haven, Connecticut. This one has no stains or anything on it. It's in really nice condition. So Gold's Gym. And then there is the tag. Price on all of them. Okay, how many was there? One million dollars. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's eleven shirts. Okay, um, so let's see. Hey, Mr. C. Reseller man does want the Goodwitch one. And let's see, Greg is bidding on the Blondie. And Gary's bidding on the Blondie. So if you want, I can sell all the rest of them to you since I'm trying to be fair here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that would be nine left over. Wait, why am I counting weird? <laughs> I can't count today. Okay, so if you want, um, we can start the rest of them, this lot at 22. 
22 for all the rest of these. Okay, so Greg is at $10 for Blondie. Thank you, Greg. Um, Gary is out. Thank you, Sugar Plum. Yeah, so 22 if you want to start for the rest of these. So that is the Gold's Gym. That is the Sahara tank top. My Johnny Cash t-shirt. Uh, my Sex Pistols t-shirt. What? I'm selling this? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, my corn t-shirt. Hey, what's up, Patty? What was that? Oh, I was saying hi to Pat. Oh. This one. Keep the deals. And then the Jimi Hendrix. Hey, Pat. I'd have to go back and watch, Pat. I can't remember if it was 30 or 40 starting. For what? Uh, some cards I have. Oh, it was 30. 30. Okay, so Sugar Plum is at 22 for this lot. The Blondie and the Good Witch are separate. So those are over there. Um, let me go back in the chat so I'm confused here. All right, so we are at $10 for the Blondie. Does anyone else want to come in for the Blondie? It's this one. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and sell it to Greg. This is a cool shirt. It's got 77 on the back. And it's sort of like a, almost like a light gray color. I don't know what color this is. It's not white. It's like, um, almost like a faded grayish color. Okay, sounds good, Pat. No hangers, please. Oh yeah, I know. I'll take the hangers off. Thank you. I just have all the clothing hanging up over there because it's easier for me to get to it. All right, so Blondie is sold to Greg. Thank you, Greg. You have my info. I have your info. <laughs> All right, so Blondie. Greg. And I think All I'm right. going to go maybe two more products and then call it. We've been okay. for 77 minutes. Uh, so. And then um, who wanted the Good Witch? Where did it go? I missed it. I'm scrolling up. Did someone still want this one? I don't see it any longer in the chat, so maybe not. Maybe they took it down. Oh, reseller man. You want the good witch one. Okay, so that one's a dollar. One dollar. I'm pretty sure I have your info too. So okay, so we're good with that one. That one's sold. And then the rest of them, we're going to go ahead and sell these to Sugar Plum. If you haven't sent me your info before, there's my email there. Just shoot me your real name, your YouTube name, and your PayPal information. And then I will invoice you for the rest of the. Yes, I have your info. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you guys. Sorry that was a little confusing, but we figured it out. <laughs> okay, you're up, Todd, if you're ready. Let me write all this down. All right. So 
Up next is something that I picked up at the estate sale. And there we go. There we go. I haven't been able to test it because it says you're not supposed to open it. I took off this, or I slid this thing over here, and it says, do not open this thing unless you're an authorized blah, blah, blah. So I didn't because I pay attention to the rules. So I don't know if it works or not. Um, I would imagine that it would. But there it is. It has tritium in it, which I know they're using gun sights and uh, watches and whatever. It's possibly hazardous. I don't know. But either way, here's this exit sign that is industrial, made out of aluminum. Um, this is, I would imagine, LED. Um, and I would imagine it's ex expensive. Uh, but I thought, you know what? We're going to go out with a bang on this one. See if anybody wants this thing. This thing is about three, maybe four pounds. Uh, it, it's stout for sure. It's the real deal. It's not a toy. It's industrial. So we're going to start that thing out at $12 plus shipping. $12 plus shipping. So if anybody would like to get in on something like that, there you go. And, you know, if you don't want to take it apart, you just want to hang it up. That's what I was going to do with it. Just leave it as is. Don't take it apart. No reason to. These are kind of reflective looking. They have like a some kind of a texture to it. See, it? so it's like reflective looking, and uh, it's just cool as is, you know, for a man cave or for your business or whatever. But a there bar. you go. Man. Be cool if you have like a bar in your house. Yeah, yeah. So people know how to get out. <laughs> <laughs> now we're building like a bar area in the backyard. Okay, like an outdoor so, area. Yeah, like an outdoor, just a little hangout area, you know, with um, yeah. with a bar and a pool table and mm -hmm. just a hangout spot. Yeah, be cool. Not really a man cave. I think the man cave's in the garage. <laughs> All right, that's the original. Before they called it a man cave, it was called a garage. Yes. <laughs> Sugar Plum, I don't think I have your info. I've checked everywhere. I don't see it. See on the bottom here. See instructions on back before disposal. Licensed by US uh, NRC. Manufactured by Safety Light Corp. Self luminous. Where's my glasses at? Self luminous signs and markers. Um. CUL Mechanical Equipment Directory. Um, recommended maximum distance for a little oh, feet. Recommended effective life 12 years. Uh, replaced before 12 to 2000 or 10 2001. So, th yeah, this must just have a shelf life. So, yeah, don't open it, just leave it the way it is. Crazy. What was your starting on that? Uh, twelve bucks. Twelve bucks. You oh, know why? Because that's exactly what I paid for it. <laughs> that's cool. I paid twelve bucks for that thing. Uh, so you'll just have to kick in the shipping if you're into it. it has a basement <laughs> named Shivers. That's awesome. Shivers. Shiver me timbers. Sh oh, we need a name. I'm going to come up with a name, too. I never thought of that. Yeah. Now, he just built the bar last weekend, and then we had this idea because I got a die-cut um, machine, so we're going to cut out, like, song lyrics hmm. and put them on top of the bar, and then he's going to cover the bar in, like, a, um, like a resin. So we'll have all yeah. the song lyrics underneath and then the resin on top. Hmm. So that would be cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. really cool. I was going to ask you, how's it going with your, your machine? Pretty fun. Good. I'm just really learning it when I have the time. So I've just been kind of playing around with it, but yeah, cool. there's a lot to learn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's more complicated than I thought, but it's been fun so far. Good deal. 
All right. Well, it looks like people are going to pass on this. And okay. after this, I'll have one more thing. And then we'll get on to the things I've got shipping to do still. I didn't do that yet today. Um, so Yeah. I haven't, done, done. I haven't done my Post shipping office. yet either. And I'm excited to... I can't open this. I can't do a... I can't play with my phone until I do a video on it. Because that will spoil it. I can't fake it. Right? So I need to do that right after I get up done here. <laughs> Okay, let me switch over here. What machine do I have? What crystal do you have a Bernina? I think you're talking about the sewing machine, Bernina. I'm not sure. But no, I have all brother machines. So I have the brother um, serger right there. And then on that side, I have my brother sewing machine. I used to have a brother embroidery machine, but I got rid of that. And then for the die cut, um, I have the Cree Cut. What is it? The Cree Cut Maker. Hey, Jenny's girl. I haven't seen you for a long time. How are you? Pasadena. How's Callie? I miss Callie. <laughs> Is that what you were talking about, Gary? The Bernina sewing machine? Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go ahead and do the other plush lot. See if you guys want that. Plushies. Oh. Plushies. I love plushies. All right. So we're going to start this one at... $5 also, $5 starting bid plus the shipping. Oh, sewing, yeah, all my sewing. Everything I have across sewing and embroidery is all brother. What I like about brother machines is all the parts are interchangeable, so that's pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me, my email's right there. Excuse me. Okay, so first up, <coughs> something in my throat. <coughs> hey, Todd, can you excuse me for a minute? <coughs> Maybe not. <coughs> I'm choking, guys. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you, reseller man. Oh, what's in my throat? <clears throat> okay, let's try again. First up, Dr. Zeus. <laughs> then we have this little guy. <clears throat> man. Fisher Price, she does work. We have Carter's, cute little fox. All right, so you get all of this starting for $5 plus the shipping. A beautiful elephant. <clears throat> this is <clears throat> Elegant Baby. Here is an older Build-A-Bear. Um, 2013 Build-A-Bear. I think this was a collab with Barami. <clears throat> My voice is going out now that I was choking. You. Here's um, Barami. He does need to have his stitching redone there, but if you take it to Build a Bear, they'll stitch it up for you for free. So there's that cute one. I like this this guy's eyebrows. Look at that. <laughs> oh, he's cute. There is a Melissa and Doug puppy. <clears throat> a 
Um, there is a Beanie Boo, Thai Beanie Boo. His name is Duke. And here is a cow. A cow. No brand, but he is a puppet. <laughs> the cow puppet. Oh, my eyes are watering now. So I was coughing. Okay, here is a Barbie puppy. It just says Barbie. Barbie puppy. Cute little Barbie bow on his head. Wait, there's more. <laughs> This is a McDonald's National Geographic turtle. He's still in the packaging. It comes with a little trading card right there. We got McDonald's. We got McDonald's. Here's a Hershey Kiss bear. And he has a little kisses tag. And his Hershey, Hershey tag there. So the Hershey Kiss Bear. And here is a Build-A-Bear Bunny Rabbit. This is an older Build-A-Bear tag, too. Well, it's is not this that all old. still part of that $5 lot, Crystal? Yes, it is. Holy crap. This is 2000. Is the year. So I guess he would be vintage, right? Yeah. So he's a vintage Build-A-Bear. Christy. You better get in on this thing. There we go. This if one's adorable. Yeah. If she doesn't, I might have five on it. I don't know. Yeah, it's five dollars for all of it plus the shipping. This one is my favorite favorite out of this whole lot. He is a Hallmark. Doesn't have a year on him, but he is vintage. Um, blah blah blah. blah. I don't think it has a year. Is he Peter Rabbit? No, it's a bear. Um says Forever Friends, Hallmark, and this is the bear. Look at his face. He's so sweet. Huh. It's hard to see in the camera, but he has pink cheeks. Hmm. <laughs> Cute little smiling face. And he's actually like a little bag or like a gift, maybe a gift box. You can zip it. Oh, nice. And put stuff in here. It'd be cute maybe for a little birthday if you wanted to put a gift card in there or <clears throat> maybe a wedding ring or like an engagement ring. Mother's Day would be cute. All put kinds some of Snickers stuff. in there, some Snickers and some candies. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, Christy's in for five. Oh, man. Thank you, Sugar Plum. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I don't know what got into my throat there. <clears throat> so how many plush is that? Let's see. One, two, three, four, <clears throat> five. Excuse me. And Jenny says, good grief. <laughs> Thirteen. Wow. PJs. What's PJs? I don't know. I'm talking PJs inside the bear. I don't think oh, it would fit. Bless you. Looks like that might have been a sneeze. A sneeze? No, I've been coughing. <clears throat> oh. I don't know. Something got in my throat and uh, I'm choking on it, whatever it is. <laughs> mm hair or something in there. I don't think PJs would fit in there. It's not quite big enough. It's more like the size of like a little cosmetic case. So that would be cute, like perfume or some makeup or something inside there. Maybe even put like a little strap around the neck. And you could wear it like a, like a little crossbody bag or something, like a little purse would be cute for a little girl. 
Okay, so 13 plush, $5. Um, Christy is in. Anybody else? If not, huh, I'm going to get an awesome deal for 5 bucks. Wow. Amazing elephant right here. Melissa and Doug. Cat in the hat. <clears throat> This one, she works. Purple hand. Purple hand. <laughs> Where's my green hand? Uh oh. This guy. This little cow. Puppet. Barbie dog. Hershey kiss bear. Turtle. Who am I missing? Oh, and the um, Build a Bear Bunny. This one. Build a Bear Bunny. Lots and lots of plush. I love plush. I have so much of it. <laughs> it's just fun. I mean, how sweet is this guy? With his little little furry butt. <laughs> Cotton, Peter Cottontail. He's just a build a bear. I don't know if it's a particular particular bear or not. But he is a two thousand two thousand build a bear. This one's an older one also. Um well, this says 2013. 2013 build a bear. But I think he was a collab with this company, Verami, because I think that's a separate company. And there's the little, these older tags. Now they have like these things on their paws here that usually say build a bear. Sort of like this one. <clears throat> All right, we're going to go ahead and sell it to Chrissy for $5. What a bargain. So, so they all fit in this box. <laughs> All right, you're up. Thank you, Chrissy. Try to yawn real quick. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Uh, uh, there we go. All right, folks. Last but not least, for your consideration, is a Corvette. It's a radio controlled with the Kool Aid logo on it on the hood and on the side. <coughs> radio controlled Corvette Rally Sport Series by Nico N I K K O. Go ahead and look that up. The coolest part about this, and the only reason I would really want to keep this is because it has a Fiero right there. Look at that. Fiero, it's an 85 GT because it's not a fastback. But either way, super cool. Uh, it does work. I have tested it, and it is cool. So uh, the year on this is 80. <clears throat> well, it's got to be 85, 86, something like that. Let's open it up, shall we? And we're going to go ahead and start this thing out at 20 bucks because it is super cool. This is not for the reseller. This is for the collector. Oh, and it's got paperwork in there, too. So that's even cooler. Let's go ahead and bust that out. What's got in there? The order form, if you want to order some extra stuff for it. Just the static stuff that was in there. <coughs> Does that say Kool-Aid on the side? It does. Oh, that's cool. It's a, it's a promotional daily. Yeah. And there's the instructions. So let's find the year on this bad boy. Oops. If you guys can look it up. Do, do, do. And actually, I have it listed. I think I have it listed for like 25. So 1985. 
Wow. Corvette. Same color as my computer almost. So we'll start this out at 20 bucks plus shipping. With paperwork. Original packaging for the collector. Yeah, it's super cool. Uh, thank you so much for helping with Dad. Five, Bill Stoner. Yes, Mr. Stoner. Okay, Christy, we'll see ya. We'll see ya, see ya. Take care, we'll see you soon. 1985, gosh, that was a good year. I think. I don't know. Seems it's funny how we all remember the 80s so fondly, but when we were living, we're like, this is the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true, huh? Yeah. And in the 80s, everyone was like, oh man, the 70s were hideous with all the avocado green yuck. In the 80s, people were saying that, and now it's like, oh, the 70s were so cool, and the 80s were so cool, and the 90s were so cool. I think uh, any decade that we're not living in is so cool, basically. I don't to put this all back remember together. the 70s. I remember no, the just, 80s. I wasn't born oh, yet. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forget. Well, I remember part of the 70s. I was born 80, 1980. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I am vintage, 73. Oh, Christy was saying goodbye. I gotcha. Okay. All right, guys. Well, this is all I had for the day. Uh, that's, that's where I'm at. That's what I've got. Crystal, have you got one more? or? Um, I can try one more. Okay. Sure. Yeah. And then yeah, we'll call I mean, it after that. Okay, sounds good. Here, let me switch over to you. Let's see if I can get this to turn on. Battery's dead. Okay. <clears throat> so I guess we'll go ahead and do this. This is a mini laptop um it is a gateway it has windows 7 um i was using this thing when i traveled it's pretty cool actually it does have wi-fi and everything on it the only thing is it's a little bit slow so if you're looking for a fast computer this isn't it this is just more like traveling or playing around or something but it's not really um I wouldn't use this as a work laptop. So uh, it's tiny. This is it. Everything does work. Um, let me see. Let me measure it really quick. I think it's a 13. The screen is 10 inches. So it's cool. It almost fits in your pocket. <laughs> so you got this thing. It has Windows 7 on it. Um, it does have a brand new keyboard and a brand new screen. Um, it comes with the charger and also a little tiny mouse. Starting bid on this is $50. Um, I'll show you the back there. It still does charge up. Um, it's in perfect working condition. Everything is still great about it. Just I don't need it anymore because I bought myself a laptop. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Windows 7. Oh, I'll show you the ports on the side. So for being such a small laptop, this one is pretty cool because it does have um, an HDMI mm -hmm. uh, and your VGA. So you can attach multiple monitors to it mm -hmm. if you wanted to. You can also hardline uh, the internet. Mm -hmm. 
on the other side. It's also got more USBs plus a card reader. Um, what's this one? This one's for headphones. So yeah, it's for being such a tiny laptop, um, this thing can do a lot. So you've got two USBs on this side, headphone jacks plus a card reader. And then on this side, you've got, um, that's the plug, uh, internet, VGA, HDMI, and another USB. So this thing's pretty cool. Here's the inside. So it has a 10 inch screen. So it's tiny, but I used to use it for traveling. It's a little bit slow because it's old, but it still connects to the internet. Um, I can watch videos and stuff on it, no problem. Mm -hmm. I can't run like a bunch of multiple tabs open on it, but if I just wanted to work on like my eBay listings and just have one tab open, it works perfectly fine. It's great for that. Mm -hmm. So there's that. It does come with the, the plug, of course. And it also has this little, a little mouse. Okay, so fifty dollars to start if you're if anyone's interested. It has Windows Seven. Anything else about it? I'm not really sure <laughs> what to tell you because I don't know. Um, it says Gateway. If you want the model number, I have all that information too. If you're interested. Product of Acer, he says. Hey, Landshark, how are you? Oh, well, you guys can see my computer. Can you see my big screen over there? <laughs> oh, it's a TV. It's a TV. It's a 42. <laughs> oh, man. Now that's chat. Yeah. Yeah, my projector idea didn't quite work out too good down here. Yeah, I have the 42 inch up there on like a swivel so I can move it around. I have another um, monitor right behind my laptop, but I don't really use that one anymore. So it's just kind of there. And then my laptop monitor right here. Mm. All right, if no one's interested, we'll pass on the computer. That's fine. All right. Do you want to call it a day? I think so. We've been on almost two hours. I'm over here yawning. I don't know. Yeah. I need a nap. <laughs> two hours seems to be the max. I think it's good. Yeah. Let me see. I got this. Do, do, do. Uh, da, da, da. There we go. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys' time. I hope you had a little bit of fun, you know, interacting with your friends, if nothing else. And uh, whoever bought some stuff, I know you got a great deal. Christy got a smoking deal. Holy crap. Yeah, she should uh, profit. Yeah, she should do real well on that. So, and yeah. that's good. She deserves it. She's a good person. So, mm -hmm. and that's the way things go. All right, guys. Uh, I did put Crystal's link to her store, her eBay store. So you can continue to shop for Crystal stuff. If you Thank click you. below in the description, is her eBay store. And also, if you're watching later in the future, uh, and you're not a subscriber to Crystal, her link is also below. Um, and then my stuff's down there too as well. So go ahead and check all that out. And I appreciate you. So any parting words, ma'am? Um, thank you, everybody. I appreciate everyone that um, that bid and bought something from me. I appreciate all of you. Um, so if you haven't done so already, please send us your information so we can invoice you. Um, some of you already have your information. But if I don't, there's my email. And that's it. Thank you. Next week on my channel? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Sounds I am going to try to do probably an auction on Thursday if you want to join. Um, yeah. I'm probably going to do like all clothing though on Thursday, but I mean, you're welcome to sell whatever you want if you want to. I've got some clothing that, yeah, yeah. some vintage clothing and stuff. So yeah, I'll put together a lot and I'll plan on just plan on me being there. Okay. So Thursday around the same time. Okay. Cool. Sound good? Sounds okay. good. 
All right, guys. Right. Have a good day. Be safe. Bye, everybody. Remember, when you Thank don't you. want to, that's when you need to. Talk mm -hmm. to you soon. Bye.